Hello crafty friends, welcome to today's clean and simple card video. A couple of weeks ago I found these in a charity shop and thought they would make really fun additions to my die cutting arsenal. So I bought them and posted a picture in my Facebook group asking if anyone would be interested in seeing a video in which I use them on a card and lots of you said yes. So that's where we are. So my initial thoughts are keep it clean and simple. Use these dies to die cut some pretty papers, some of my backgrounds and bits of backgrounds that I've got here and then arrange them on my card, preserving lots of white space to keep it clean and simple. So I'm going to flick through this, pull out some papers, figure out a colour scheme and then die cut out some shapes. So I found these four pastel smushed backgrounds. I think I made these with leftover distress oxides and they're very light and subtle. I think it also was originally a piece, one larger sheet maybe, something like that. And uh, I cut it into four so that I could use them as full panels on a card. But I think I shall cut out a variety of speech bubbles and shapes from these pastel patches. So I've chosen some patches. I'll secure these down where I want them with some sticky notes and then run it through my cuttle bug. So there we have our little pastel rainbow of speech bubbles. So I'm thinking something like this. But I want to add something in the background, maybe a bit of sparkle and shine with some splatters. But I don't want to splatter the whole card. I want at least some of it to be empty white space. So we'll move those over here and we'll grab some of this paper that we used, sticky notes that I used to hold my dies down. It doesn't have to be perfectly aligned. I'm not blending or anything. I'm just protecting some of the card from the splatters. And I'm going to add some small rose gold drops, I think. There's a bit of darker gold left on the brush, so it'll come out an interesting colour. Okay, before I do anything else, I'm going to give that a bit of a blast with my hairdryer just to dry it off. So now I've got a nice column of splatters and I can add my speech bubbles. I'm going to use some tacky glue to add these directly onto my card blank. I'm not using any panels today. I'm just going to spread those out a bit. Now I'm going to trim off the overhang. For the sentiment, I'm going to die cut this speech bubble out of black cardstock so it really pops on that pastel background. I'm going to do it in white embossing and I've got this sentiment that says just wanted to say dot dot dot. Now the dot dot dot, actually I know what I'm going to do, the dot 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 doesn't fit on here so I'm going to cut it off and I will mm, I'm not sure if I'll endeavor to keep it I think if I need some dot dot dots in future I'll just draw them on with a pen that's probably the best thing to do so now it says just want to say just wanted to say so I'll pick that up with my stamp positioner plate thingamabob Give that a good going over with cornflour, dust that off a little bit and then stamp this in embossing ink. I'm going to heat emboss in white and this is Stamp and Stuff Detail White Opaque. This was another charity shop find so I'm not sure if it's still available.
Now I'm going to line up my speech bubble and that fits perfectly now. For something like this where you're heat embossing a light something onto a black piece of cardstock and you get a few flecks of white embossing powder uh, where you don't want it. I just take a permanent marker like a Sharpie and do a quick little dot over those flecks and that should cover them up and not rub off because it's permanent. So here we have our speech bubble. I'm going to add it about two thirds of the way up and I'm just using my T-square ruler to make sure the writing is straight. I added a bit of foam tape to the back. I want to add some finishing touches in the form of, I think, wobbly circles because my speech bubbles are a bit wobbly. So I'm going to take some of this rose gold paint that I splattered on earlier paint it onto this spare bit of the background. Didn't have much colour on it, so it's not a big sacrifice. Let that dry and then die cut out some wobbly circles. So this is the wobbly circle die that I'm going to use and I shall just stick that there and run it through my Gemini Mini. And I can keep that for something else. So now I've got a nice little pile of wobbly rose gold circles. Let's take a little bit of high tack glue, dip in my circles. Add them around my focal point. Just for a bit of extra energy, a bit of extra metallic of extra fun and I'll keep these dots in a little pot for now because what I'm thinking is while I've got these dies out I'll have a little session and make a few more cards with them off camera and then I'll come back to you in a few moments and share the makes that I make right back in a tick Okie dokie, so I have made eight more cards using these speech bubble dies and I'll show you those now. But this card, the one I made in the video, I think if I was to do it again, instead of doing this on black, I think I'd go for a grey so it was almost a pastel black, if you see what I mean, to tone in with the pastel background. But that was just a thought I had. So here's card number two. And all I did was take a panel of smooth white cardstock, die cut out some speech bubbles to create apertures. And I arranged them in a, well, a kind of cascading curve to create a flow, a hierarchy of size. I picked the rounded speech bubbles for this so they were all similar. I backed my aperture with a gel print that I made in one of my gel printing videos. But before I stuck it on, I spattered on some gold metallic paint just to give it a bit of extra zhuzh. And then for my sentiment, I've got gold foiled hello you and a little heart here. It's very clean, very simple. There's lots of white space, no real kind of texture or embossing, but you could zhuzh it up a bit with maybe some texture around the edges or some nouveau drops or something in the little gaps. But if you want to keep it clean and simple, that's the kind of thing you can do. I then used a leftover bit of this gel print to die cut out one of the square speech bubbles. I stamped just for you on it. But before I die cut it out, I took a black pen and drew around the inside of the die. And then I die cut it out and that gave me a little black border just in from the edge which I think helps it stand out. I also die cut the same speech bubble from gold and layered that on top offsetting it slightly just to give it a drop shadow and bring in a bit of shine. The panel I used is just a panel of smooth white cardstock and I ran it through my die cutting machine with the dies on top but I used the embossing sandwich so the shapes embossed the panel rather than die cut from it. Let me just hold this up closely to the camera so you can see the pattern there. I 
And I think something like that is a is quite an effective way of adding some shape, pattern, texture to the background without being overwhelming. And then I did some faux dry embossing. And by that I mean I cut some speech bubbles from smooth white cardstock and then stuck them across the front of my card. So there's no panel there, it's just the card blank. And it looks almost as if I've used a speech bubble embossing folder and pressed the pattern into the card. I've got a whole video about that on my channel if you want to know more details. I then die cut the word thanks out of one of my backgrounds. I think this one is pigment powder of some kind because it's shimmery. I stuck that over my dry embossing, then added some gold foiled circles that I'd cut with my circle die. This is a great way of using some of your bolder mixed media pieces or bolder pattern papers. Die cut a sentiment from it and stick it on a white background, including lots of white space. And everything about this card points to this big, bold sentiment. This is another clean and simple one. I've got lots of white space over here. I've popped on some speech bubbles that I cut from another of my backgrounds. This was smushed. I think I smushed onto a gel plate and then lifted the print. But it's a really subtle background. You've got some color, you've got some texture, you've got your speech bubble shapes. The sentiment says, I heard today is your birthday, which I thought went well with the speech bubbles. That's bold because it's in black but I've also drawn the attention to it using these gold Nouveau drops for a bit of shimmer and shine and dimension as well. And this one is an eclipse card so this was a sparkly stenciled background I think I made during my pigment powder 101 series. I die cut some speech bubbles from it and then I stuck that on two identical white cardstock speech bubbles, stuck it back in the hole, gave it a black border and then to really create some pop I die cut from black cardstock You're a Star using alpha dies and then on the last one I stuck a star, a black star. I didn't think it had enough um, pattern on it so I then die cut another star and heat embossed on it with the same powder that I used here. For this one, I used another Pigment Powder 101 background that I did with an embossing folder. And instead of using the whole panel, I just cut a strip from the background that I'd created, mounted it on smooth white cardstock to give it a bit of a border, stuck it on the left-hand side of the card so that I've got lots of white space here, added a double white speech bubble. I chose this one because it was big enough for the hooray that I wanted to use. I did that in black ink again so that it's attention grabbing and again added some gold circles around it. So you've got this lovely shimmery textured panel that's not too big for the card with an eye grabbing attention, grabbing sentiment. And here are my last two cards. So this was a gel print that I did with acrylic paint and stencils. There is a video for this. I stuck the gel print onto some double-sided adhesive craft foam and then I die cut out a speech bubble from it and I used that speech bubble on this card so I've got a nice bright dimensional speech bubble just stuck on the card and I'm leaving it at that so it's super clean and simple but it's really got an attention grabbing sentiment and focal point and all I did was cut out some letters with an alpha die using gold foil cardstock and added those on. So that is very clean and simple, but quite effective, I think. And then I had this bit left over and I die cut a square from it, stuck it on a square of smooth white cardstock, stuck it on a square card blank. I think this is about five and three quarter inches by five and three quarter inches and then added yay again with gold fold cardstock in the aperture that was left when I took that out. I really like this. I think what I might have done if I'd have thought about it at the time was pop some of the same dimensional foam on the back of the gold fold cardstock before I cut it out so those letters would be raised up to the same level as the backgrounds but that's just a, a little adaption that I might make in future. 
So here we have a whole bunch of cards, all quite different from one another, made using the speech bubble dies. I do hope that you've found these ideas helpful. I'm sure the speech bubbles will show up in future videos because I had a lot of fun creating these and using my backgrounds. So it's quite quick and easy because all of these backgrounds that I used were pre-made. I didn't have to do any messy mixed media or anything. I could just back, grab backgrounds out of my background box and die cut away to my heart's content. Okay, so if you've enjoyed the video, if it's given you any ideas, please do leave a thumbs up subscribe ring the notification bell let me know in the comments and i will see you back here very soon thank you for watching bye for now